Hey guys, there's a lot of good stories here on DailySilverUpdate.com today for you guys to read about. And the one this video is going to be centered on is Data Supports QE Tapering, US GDP Expands, Jobless Claims Shrink, and Gold and Silver Prices Fall. But before I get to that, I'll just show you guys what else we have here. We have an article on Congress Warned US Debt Ceiling Looms, some silver chart technical and fundamental analysis with price targets, some news on Syria, something by Jim Rogers, and uh, some old news about how gold was rising on safe haven demand over Syria. Fed QE debate continues. And one more before that, U.S. housing weakens, gold and silver gain. Will the Fed taper in September? So basically, let's just go back here to August 27th, so two days ago. Uh, we were having some bad U.S. housing market data, and that was hinting at the fact that maybe Ben Bernanke and the Federal Reserve was not going to taper QE in September due to uh, the weak U.S. this week U this week economic data. However, now we're getting some reports about some strong U.S. economic data, such as GDP expanding and jobless claims shrinking. So gold and silver prices retreated today on better than expected U.S. economic data, which reinforced the case for the Federal Reserve to slow stimulus measures. So even though we had some bad housing data last week, GDP and jobless claims are actually coming in showing in uh, sort of a strengthening economy. So this is going to have sort of this is more data that supports a tapering of QE in September. And the minutes of the uh, FOMC policy meeting in July, which were just released just over a week ago on August 21st, said central bankers were broadly comfortable with Ben Bernanke's plan to start reducing bond buying later this year if the economy improves.